Hey y'all, come with me for a ride in a Waymo. Yes, a self-driving car. Can you believe it? it's 2024, y'all? Hey Waymo, let's go. Heading to the Ritz-Carlton. Like technology has just gotten better and better and better -er, and I just love this for my people. But yeah, y'all, Waymo is a self-driving car that started back in 2009 and then in 2016, well, it started with Google and then in 2016, it broke off into its own company. But now there's like thousands of these robo taxis just all over the world. You know, I don't know if it's really all over the world, but I know we have a bunch of them here. Like there's in California, well, I was in California here and they're in Arizona, Texas and in Atlanta. Here in California, Waymo has its own app because this is where it started in California. Like California is like the Waymo headquarters. But yeah, they have its own app here where you can just order a Waymo like you will order an Uber or a Lyft. And y'all, it's cheaper than an Uber and a Lyft. Every time I ordered one, I compared the prices with Uber and Lyft. And yeah, Waymo was always cheaper. Like, okay, thank you. And I don't have to deal with the driver because drivers really be getting on my nerves. Like, I'm tired of y'all trying Debo me over the the um temperature control and Debo in the music. Like, damn. Y'all lucky right now. Waymo can't ride on highways and they can't go to busy intersections or airports. So we still need you human drivers for today. But one day, one day, <laughs> anyhow, I really did enjoy this ride with Waymo and Oh, but you know, they do have them here in Atlanta too, but you got to book it through the Uber app. They don't have the Waymo app. Y'all lucky. I just, I just want a Waymo. I want my own Waymo. I can't wait till that happens. <laughs>